done is and re the base coat, paint all of the fresh areas with Gulliman Flesh. Don't worry about spilling onto other areas as the next sections use darker colours. And this would also work for something like a Wraith Bone Spray Base Coat. Paint all the brown strapping areas using Snake Bike Leather Contrast. Paint any part of the visible loincloth with wildwood contrast. Note on this model there's very little of that but on some of the hobgots there's a lot more to be seen um, and just making sure there's a good coverage to make it noticeably darker than the surrounding areas. Paint all the robes to be red with flesh terrorist contrast. Um, this is quite a saturated colour so be careful not to spill onto any other areas and just take your time and pick out all the robes in turn. Paint all the metallic areas, lead belcher, so the weapons and the chest armour, and in this case the pin in the mouth of the grenade. Paint the, I suppose, brass areas, the glyph in the middle with Screaming Bell. Now paint the armour again in the areas that are to be a darker metallic with Black Templar. Um, so on the chest armour, paint the entirety. Don't worry about spilling onto the raised bits as these will be repainted in the next step. With one-to-one -one wildwood contrast and contrast medium paint over the screaming bell areas. Pick out the raised areas on the blackened armour panels again with lead belcher and at this time you can also highlight these areas with a lead belcher so the sharpest edges and the central ridge. Paint all the remaining lead belcher areas now with a wash of non oil. Paint 
point. Now, the majority of the fresh areas with a mix one to one of Avalanche Sunset and a Shabti Bone, just leaving the Gunman Fresh Contrast in the deepest recesses. Um, you can take your time with this step, but there are 20 of these in the box, so there's no real need to be super neat here. Just making sure the deepest recess remain dark should be fine. Edge highlight the flesh using flayed one flesh. So most of this is actually on the face, the raised areas like the around the eyes, nose and the ears, but any of the um, more prominent muscles, you can pick out the edge of that with kind of a, a line highlight, just to emphasize the shape. Also pick out any scars on the flesh with the flayed one flesh as well. Pick out the dots of the eyes using Evil Sun Scarlet. Using the edge of the brush and minimal paint, you can pick out the raised aspects of the rope using wild wild or red. This adds a lot of contrast in a single step. Um, takes a little bit of time, but the effect is well worth it. And actually, if you're very delicate with the brush, it's quite easy to do because the detail is very pronounced on these models. Um, not a necessary step, but it does kind of make the rope pop amongst the rest of the detail. Highlight the lighter metallic areas and the screen bell areas using Stormhost Silver. Pick out the teeth, fingernails and toenails using dried bark. Out the raised edges of the teeth and nails with carrick stone. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, please consider subscribing as I have numerous other videos on Warhammer and other miniature game painting tutorials.